Hey guys, okay, on my last video, um, I accidentally stopped the video. So, we're going to jump back into it. Gemini, we were, we stopped at Gemini. Alright, so let's go. Um, I do shuffle and pray over the cards. So, let's just give the cards a quick shuffle and jump right into it. What are the messages for Gemini? Gemini is dealing with earth, water, fire, air signs. What are the messages for Gemini dealing with earth signs? Gemini is dealing with earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Hmm. Messages of, of change. Six of Cups. Three of Swords. Okay. We got the Five of Swords, Six of Cups, Three of Swords. For my Gemini is dealing with earth signs. It may be that there's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of, you know, people trying to have the last word they'll say anything to be right they'll say anything just to have the last word this relationship may involve children uh, but the three of swords is here it could be third party if not it's it's just that this is a heartbreak heartache an ending a divorce separation or needing to practice caution in this relationship so if you're dealing with an earth sign <clears throat> do know that strength yeah you need to um have strength and choosing a new path with the three of swords you may have found out that you are not the only person uh in this person's uh, life and you need to have the strength to actually just move away from this earth sign there's a lot of tension there's a lot of arguing here okay all right so one flipped over my gemini is dealing with water signs four of wands seven of pentacles looks like some of you are waiting for stability you're waiting for the relationship prince of cups princess of cups so messages are not coming in messages of love are not being exchanged here with water signs cancer pisces scorpio you're waiting with the four of wands and the seven of pentacles you're waiting for things to turn around i'm hearing uh ace of wands but there might be a new passionate start in you pushing forward prince of prince of swords rushing in giving in your truth and it may just be that there's a new passionate start in you um, speaking your truth to a pinnacles and weighing up this this relationship the decision weighing up the option weighing up maybe a love affair the sun yeah but uh things will be illuminated to you here if you're dealing with water signs you definitely weighing up do i continue to wait for real commitment and stability with this water sign the water sign princess of cups is coming in reversed i don't read reversals but they're coming in reversed um messages are not coming through there's not really loving messages all right so my gemini's dealing with air signs princess of pentacles gemini's dealing with air signs gemini libra aquarius ace of pentacles king of cups high priestess nice energy my gemini's dealing with air signs uh, very progressive princess of pentacles the message of stability and wanting to build something foundational is here and then we have the ace of pentacles the universe pushing and giving new starts so that um stability can be built built upon you know or the relationship it can be built upon into something stable there's love um king of cups i really feel like this is you gemini coming through very loving open the high priestess, you may be dealing with a very intuitive person. A very uh, connected person, spiritually connected. Who's the high priestess? Because he knows me like that. King of Wands, wow. Um, could be a fire sign or someone with fire in their charts, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or they could just be taking on this energy, someone very attractive business oriented can organize people can get things done is a go-getter wow as a trendsetter i'm hearing um 
beautiful energy for my Gemini's dealing with other air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so my Gemini's dealing with fire signs, true, accurate messages for my Gemini's dealing with, whoa, fire signs. These cards are so big. You'll, you'll hear other readers talk about how big the Druid Craft deck is. It's so huge. You always drop these cards. Um, my Gemini's dealing with fire signs. Gemini's dealing with fire signs. Gemini's dealing with fire signs. Three of Wands. Some of you are wanting to leave behind partnership or leave behind what's already been established. And uh, this is my choosing myself card. You just really want to just leave it all behind. You're really into that futuristic thinking. Eight, wow. Eight of Cups. White. Check out emotionally. Actually physically move. Um, leave uh, what would look like to the outsider in intact relationship you're leaving it behind but you know that this is not intact you know that there are hidden secrecies and lies with the moon there the tower comes in to help you possibly move on from uh this fire sign gemini the tower comes unexpected unforeseen event shifts and shakes the energy of what's going on all right six of pentacles there might be a lack of reciprocation then here's you gemini the lovers yeah someone needs to make a choice someone may have someone else nine of wands you've been through a lot in this relationship you need to move on um the universe is helping you do so with the tower well once again you're contemplating staying with the nine of wands you you need to Go ahead and let it progress to the Ten of Wands and lay down the burden. Move on. All right, let's pull up Butterfly Oracle card. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Gemini. True, accurate messages for Gemini. Messages to govern, to guide their lives. True, accurate messages. Welcome the new. Nice. All right, so there's some new. Looks like there's some newness for Gemini's dealing with uh, air signs sobriety some of you need to engage in sobriety that's not just sentimental feelings yes yeah, some of you have sentimental feelings which is leaving you stagnant some i'm hearing for sobriety some of you it's not just you <clears throat> intaking substances and then you become intoxicated you need to engage in sobriety in your thinking some of you have clouded your mind so much with so many different things and so many things are pushed onto you that you aren't even thinking straight to the point where you are not of sober mind. So you need to really detox, not just your body, but your mind also. That's what I'm hearing there. Sentimental feelings are keeping, it's keeping you stuck. You need to process those feelings, know where to put them, know where they are and move forward. All right, so those are the messages for my Geminis. We'll be right back to do cancer, okay? All right. Okay, and we're back to do cancer. Um, uh, four elements. What are the messages for cancer? Cancers. True, accurate messages for cancers. Cancers dealing with other water signs like themselves. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Messages for Cancer dealing with water signs. Cancer is dealing with water signs. All right, King of Rods. Um, some of you, Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Five of Swords. All right, so my cancer is dealing with other water signs. Um, you, there could be an uh, air, excuse me, a fire sign in the mix of of your relationship or of a relationship. It doesn't have necessarily have to be fi um, romantic. Looks like a Leo. The lion is here. Um, maybe it's a Leo with water in their chart. Um, you could not be taken to their advances, their advances of love. Um, there could have been reunion. 
um, the five of swords is here. You're really not. The communication between you guys is not good. You know, a pen, page of pentacles. The message of stability is here. It looks like for the my cancer is dealing with some water signs or um, water signs who have fire in their chart. There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of arguing. But the message of stability is here once you come out of conflict with the five of swords. Um, the king of rocks can be very arrogant, very sometimes stubborn, really set in their ways. This is Leo or Sagittarius. Yeah, one more. Knight of Cups, right. It looks like you want to you want to play the game, but you're you're scared at the same time. You think this you, I, some of you really think that this person is very attractive, business minded. They have their stuff together. You feel like there's no room for you, or that they have a lot of suitors. All right, so. My cancer is dealing with fire signs. My cancer is dealing with fire signs. Ten of Pentacles, nice. Some of you have something stop, solid established with a fire sign or you want something solid established with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. What did I say? Four of Rods. You have the relationship. You have the, the solid foundation. You have the money, the home. Wow, the sun and the empress. Some of you may be pregnant or be wanting to become pregnant. Three of swords. Wow. Okay, so that just took a turn. Um, some of you could be coming in between um, a home or something that's already established with a fire sign. You could be the other woman or the other man. This will be illuminated. Two parties who are not aware of this, right? With the lovers and the will of fortune. This was destined to happen. The three of swords is here. There might be divorce pending page of rods. It looks like it's going in your way if you are the other woman or other man. Um, the, the lovers is here. A choice needs to be made between home life, ten of pentacles, four rods, and you, the other woman. It might be turning in your favor if you're a water sign dealing with a fire sign. Okay, so, I mean, if you're a cancer dealing with a fire sign, excuse me. Cancer's dealing with earth signs. Eight of rods, the arrows of love, back and forth communication, two of rods. Maybe this communication is about the trouble that you're already having in a relationship and you're about to make a choice to chart a new path page of cups the messages of love are here definitely here five of cups but you're already grieving leaving an, a relationship possibly night of rods um you may be doing this rather quickly too and there's a lot of passion between you and another uh person another earth sign ten of swords you know that in leaving where you are could be a, a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra and trying to get to this earth sign or trying to establish something stable with this earth sign uh, you will be causing the ten of swords uh, for another individual the ultimate level uh, you know the backstabbing and betrayal just betrayal there going outside of your established relationship Cancer is dealing with air signs. Cancer is dealing with air signs. Ace of Swords and truth and clarity. Um, this is that, that truth that shifts the energy. Nobody thinks the same. No one does the same after this truth comes out. Six of Swords. Seven of Cups. Uh, Six of Swords. Someone's moving away from the turbulence, the, the drama, the problems. Maybe due to an unfaithful partner, broken promises, or the fact that they have choices. This could be you, Cancer. This could be the air sign. 
a lot of air energy here for the air sign nine of pentacles wow yeah the air sign may be choosing to be single due to maybe infidelity on your part or vice versa one more two more the hangman the queen of swords this is typically gemini uh, but it could be gemini libra aquarius the hangman If someone's choosing to be single, they're doing nothing right now, but they are choosing truth and clarity and choosing what no longer serves them. So, Cancer, you could be getting cut out uh, by an air sign, or you could be doing a cutting. Let's see. The Hierophant. Wow. Um, definitely a marriage. Six of Cups. Some of it, it may include children, or you just felt like this person was your soulmate. Four of Swords. Six of Rods, the World, the Two of Cups. Looks like there is love somewhere else for the air sign or for you, Cancer. If you're dealing with an air sign, they want victory in dealing in other dealings with someone or something else. The world is here saying you know, there's an ending. The cycle has gone as far as it can go. Things must complete. You think someone is getting that message. All right, so let's pull a butterfly oracle card. If they want to come out, they'll come out. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for cancer. Support, additional support for cancer. Additional support for cancer. Additional support. Windfall, nice. So there may be some uh, good luck, unexpected money coming in. Self-employment, nice. Forgiveness. You may need to ask for forgiveness or you need to give forgiveness. Self-employment is highlighted for you. If you've been thinking of it, then you're on the right path. Uh, put your energy into your business if you're already self-employed. Windfall, because there might be a windfall for you here um, with self-employment. All right, so those are the messages for cancer. I will be back with the messages. Okay, and we're back to the messages for Leo. Um, thank you for messages for Leo. Leo dealing with water, fire, earth, and air. Messages for Leo. True, accurate messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo's dealing with water signs. Messages for Leo's five of clubs. So there's some indecisions, maybe some petty arguing. Ace of... Okay, so in the playing cards deck, the five of... The five of clubs... It says new love, new marriage. And then we have the ace of hearts, and that's a new start in love and or friendship. So you can take those messages, you know, how they come. You may have some inner conflict about this new love. Wow. Yeah, this is new love, four of hearts, change of journey and or home, nine of spades. But you may have some mental indecision about this. Wow. Wow mental stagnation some really negative thoughts about taking this new offer you have a decision to make do you take it or do you leave it leo five of pen hesitating well this is um success in home and business and in your marriage to a diamond there's the love affair or the business relationship not approved of there's your decision you have to make a decision right maybe surrounding a water sign cancer pisces scorpio and it's water do are you staying with this person or maybe an herb sign and uh, jack of diamonds okay all right so my leo's dealing with fire signs 
Leo still with fire signs. Eight of spades. Cancellation. Um, feeling trapped, stuck. Nine of clubs. Seven of swords. You've been through a lot in this situation. Seven of swords. Loss of friendship. Loss of burdens to carry. Devising a plan. Seven of diamonds. Uh, surprise news, baby news, waiting, king of club, there's you. There's a lot of um, mental feeling stuck and trapped. He's been through a lot, but devising a plan and waiting to possibly um, see things um, manifest and come into fruition for you, Leo. Maybe surrounding uh, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. Leo's dealing with earth signs. Leo's dealing with earth signs. King of Diamond comes right out. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Three of Diamond. You guys may be in legality with this earth sign or wanting to put the work in. Three of Spades. Legality. Some of you may be going through divorce, separation, heartbreak and heartache. Yep, two of club. Um, a different disposition, gossip, change of journey. Maybe due to you getting truth and clarity, or you giving your truth and and clarity in this situation your psychic abilities were heightened in dealing with this earth sign you felt like they were a soulmate but at the same time right the tower came in to knock this down this is a bad event an unforeseen event comes in shakes up the energy Maybe so you can do what you need to do, and that was to um, possibly get out of it. Looks like third party. I don't know, but definitely move away from um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. That just wasn't for your highest good. All right, so my Leo's dealing with air signs. Leo's dealing with air signs. Ten of diamond, ten of spade. There may be some, they there may be or there may have already been betrayal in the midst of an established relationship. There's you, queen of club, six of sword. You're moving away from the drama and what used to be. Wow, and having victory and success in doing so. Wow, three sixes. Nice. It's karmic here. What happened in the relationship was supposed to happen. Um, you may be getting some equality now. Or there still may be problems in a relationship. But you're laying down the burden. Choosing to look at what the future holds for the relationship. You may have some indecision in your mind about doing so. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was trying to hold back, but uh, it looks like some of you may choose just to be single and and find happiness in doing so with the Ten of Cups. Some of you may choose just to date, right? Yeah. Um. Some of you are choosing to walk away from air signs and you're finding uh, some abundance. There was, it was karmic in dealing with them. But you're choosing to lay down the burden, choose yourself. Sometimes you, your mental goes back to, am I doing the right thing? But it looks like you are. You're choosing to be single and you find some, the highest level of happiness in doing so. All right, so let's pull Leo. The butterfly oracle card thank you for the messages from leo true accurate messages from leo 
messages for Leo support. All right. You are stronger than you know. I feel that here. New career. Nice. Nine of diamonds in the playing card decks talks about a business opportunity. Um, you being restless in your current job and then leaving. This looks like someone is choosing to leave. Someone's choosing to leave here with the earth sign. Um, you're stronger than you know, new career and leaving. Pretty self-explanatory here. Um, so if you were thinking about any three of these things or all of them, then you're on the right path by way of spirit. So those are the messages for Leo. We'll be back with the messages for who's next? Virgo. Okay, we're back to do the messages for Virgo. Let's give the cards a quick shuffle, then we'll get started. Thank you for the messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. True, accurate messages for Virgo. Virgo's dealing with water signs. Virgo's dealing with water signs. Where are the messages? Okay. Three of Swords, Page of Cups. So after heartbreak and heartache, someone's still offering love. But the cards say there might be an ending. It might be an ending to the heartbreak and the heartache. Oh, wow. And then the death. This might just be a complete ending. For my Virgos dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Then we have the King of Wands. And then the King of Swords. And then the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm... I'm hearing someone is... Some of my Virgos. The ending could have been due to a King of Wands or a King of Swords, male or female. But however, it turns out you become single and dealing with a water sign. Also, I'm, I'm feeling like some of my Virgos decided to turn the sexy back on, to, to care for themselves more now after the ending. Um, and they're more so like the King of Swords, not tolerating any BS, nor are they giving BS. So they definitely wouldn't tolerate it. And they are like the Nine of Pentacles person, the woman or the man in waiting. Not desperate, but definitely waiting for the right person after heartache or heartbreak, divorce, and separation. All right, so my Virgo is dealing with fire signs, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Virgo's dealing with fire signs. Virgo's dealing with fire signs. Six of Sword. Some of you are trying to get to a more calm time, more placid time in your union, in your relationship. The Ten of Pentacles is here. You've established something with your fire sign. Um, right, Queen of Pentacles, here's you. The loving wife, devoted wife. Could be male or female. I'm hearing, we got the Eight of Cups here. You might be checking out emotionally or, or choosing to leave negative emotions behind. Put the work in here with the Three of Pentacles. Leave behind the negativity of the partnership. The heartbreak and the backstab and betrayal of the partnership and possibly give this a second chance with the judgment card here. Knight of Pentacles in the right in the Knight of Wands. Some of you are contemplating second chances because there has been a lot of turbulence in dealing with your fire sign. All right, so my Virgos dealing with other earth signs like themselves, Can Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Virgos dealing with earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Five of Wands, might be some change here, argument. Knight of Cups, but the love is still here. Someone's still offering love. The moon in reverse. Secrets, lies, half-truths being revealed. The tower, wow. Um, after that being revealed, the tower comes down. But at the same time, the chariot is here reversed. Someone's not able to move forward and cut and come out of the cold with the five of pentacles because 
there's either children involved in this relationship or they feel like their partner is their soulmate. Queen of Swords. But some of you may take on the energy of the Queen of Swords and just choose to cut what no longer serves you out. King of Cups. Someone's being very loving and open to love. But sneaky too. With the Seven of Swords. Which takes you to the hangman status. So if you're dealing with an earth sign. I didn't see much earth here. So you and your partner could be taking on you know different energies. Uh, the moon in reverse. The chariot in reverse. Whatever is happening you still aren't able to move on. Alright so my Virgo is dealing with air signs. King of Pentacles you come right out. The high priestess been very intuitive, listening to spirit and dealing with your Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You're waiting. You've planted seed here. You've done the work. You've put in the work. Eight of sword. But some of you keep going back. I've heard the past. Keep going back to the past. But the Wheel of Fortune is here and it's turning. This is destiny. This is um, maybe things changing for you. Wow. Charting a new path here with the Fool. So maybe in dealing with your air sign, right, you'll get to find happiness, celebration, date each other again. Nine of Cups, and you were hoping and wishing for this. Nice. Nice. Hermit card. You went within and regained composure, control of what you felt like was becoming out of control. Wow, the devil pops out. As I say, out of control. It could be third party. Right. You could be definitely dealing with an Aquarius. But there's healing now. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. So the karmic scale has been balanced for you. Uh, some of you could have, some of my Virgos could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio in their chart. There's healing here. The Ace of Swords is here. The Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing quickly in to get justice. Someone's still holding on. Still holding on to something that's like a marriage, but still wanting something else or someone else. But at the same time, still but wanting change. Very strange there. Okay, let's get some additional advice from my Virgos. True, accurate messages from my Virgos. All right. Spiritual growth. I can see that here with the Hierophant and then the High Priestess. Nice. Be focused on your spiritual growth. You are stronger than you know. All three of these popped out. Welcome the new memories and family changes. Family changes. Some of you could be with child or your partner could be with child. Um, there are memories of the past. Like I said, someone keeps going back to the past. But welcome the new. There's newness to be found in an existing relationship or newness to be had in um, something new but I didn't really see any new starts here I don't, the only ace I I pulled was the ace of swords I believe um, you are stronger than you know do know that in spiritual growth beautiful messages from my Virgos alright so we're going to come back with messages for Libra okay Okay, we're back to do the messages for Libra. Libra's dealing with water, fire, air, and earth. All right. Let's give the cards a quick shuffle, and let's get started. Messages for my Libras. My Libra's dealing with water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Someone's offering love, and they want to come in out from being left in the cold or someone is leaving someone in the cold okay three of wands the tower 
the King of Pentacles. It looks like my Libra's dealing with water signs. Um, ten, of, ten of Wands. It was, um, and it, you could be dealing with a water sign with Earth in their chart. You had to cut this person out. You had to cut the relationship out. Um, there was uh, problems. There was turbulence. There was drama. It was a heavy burden. There was some secrets, some lies. The universe helped you do this. So, um, my Libra's dealing with water signs. It looks like um, you aren't taking to any love offers <clears throat> or vice versa. Someone's not taking to yours. Water sign is not taking to your love offer. And they're just deciding to leave it, leave things as they are. All right, so my Libra's dealing with fire signs. My Libra's dealing with fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Ten of Cups. All right. So some of you could be engaging in some happiness with uh, fire signs. Page of Wands. Um, there could be a message. Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, nice. This might be a call to action for someone to take things to the next level, to propose, to move in together, to purchase a home. Nice, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Strength. Nice, could be dealing with a Leo. They're trying to manifest something. Wow, and something good. A new direction with you. The sun is here. Definitely could be dealing with the Leo. So my Libra's dealing with fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The energy is beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. This person wants to manifest something very solid, very giving, very loving with you. Or vice versa. But it looks like a lot of fire energy. So it looks like they're doing. All right. So... My Libra's dealing with Earth signs. Libra's dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Libra's dealing with Earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Right, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, The Fool. Ace of Pentacles, nice. All right, so this is a relationship of equality, of give and take, of reciprocity. The arrows of love are just shooting back and forth. Lots of messages. Lots of messages of love. Um, you're willing to take a leap of faith here and offer something solid. Either you, Libra, or your earth sign. Um, this could be engagement, home purchase, big purchase. Taking things to the next level, moving in together. Wow, and they're weighing up the decision to do this too of pinnacle they're standing their ground they're a bit defensive maybe due to what happened in the past ten of pinnacles wow they really want to offer you something nice queen of swords and there's you nice so some of, if you don't fire sign or earth I, it feels really good i lucky libra <laughs> I would sh change any day. Okay, so Libra's dealing with other air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The hangman is here. So you're in a place of contemplation, waiting for illumination. Ace of Wands. Nice. So there's the motivation. There's the illumination. The star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius directly. There's that healing, that restoration, that wish fulfillment. The hermit. Some of you could really be getting spiritual downloads here. Like, this is really deep. Um, you've went within to heal from a situation with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Because there was some backstabbing and betrayal. Five of Swords, still some hurt, pain, some arguing. Here's a Justice card. You show up, Libra. But you still feel like this person is your soulmate and or this relationship uh, involves children. But I really feel like this is 
soulmate could be a father figure that you're dealing with if I'm, I'm speaking to my female Libras four of swords you need to go within rest take a break from the situation and then it looks like you come back passionately but only to have truths around the situation but still mutual love here with the two of cups but still very confused the empress and the nine of pentacles still very confused about i'm hearing status what your status in dealing with this air sign uh your status because there might be outside inter interference wow all right let's move it right along additional messages so messages of support butterfly oracle card for libra butterfly oracle card for libra decisions i can see that I don't think all of these decisions are yours, um, especially if you're dealing with fire and earth, like someone else wants to offer you something very solid, very loving, motivation, there's your motivation and dealing with that air sign, windfall, nice, some of you could be experiencing um, a windfall of good luck, money, fortune, so this is beautiful. This is the messages for Libra. All right. We'll come back with messages for Scorpio. All right. We're back to do the messages for Scorpio. All right. Scorpio dealing with fire signs. I'm going to mix it up a bit. All right. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Scorpio's dealing with fire signs. Scorpio's dealing with fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Messages for Scorpio, Six of Swords, Two of Cups, Four of Cups. Looks like some of you are wanting to move away from the turbulence, the drama, move into a more placid and calm time in your Two of Cups type of relationship. But some of, I don't know if it's your partner or if it's you, Scorpio, but this is your energy. They might... You might be a little bit bored. Seven of Swords and trying to devise a plan to get out of this. Hoping and wishing for, wow, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, for the option to walk away. For the opportunity to walk away. Six of Pentacles, because this no longer reciprocates for you. It's no longer equal. You've put in more, or they put in more. It's just not equal. Wow. All right, the messages for my Scorpios dealing with other water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpios dealing with other water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Princess of Sword. Might be some spying going on. Might be some harsh words and harsh communication. Maybe due to the fact that there could be some addiction here. Codependency third party situation but the tower is here the universe is going to come in and help you shift the energy princess of wands and then there will be a call to action and you might just choose to leave behind partnership and choose yourself wow Don't these cards do not lie and then the fool comes out you choose to chart a new path a new development prince of pentacles baby because there's something or someone who wants to offer you something stable somewhere else. All right. That's the messages for my Scorpios dealing with water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The messages for my Scorpios dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Messages for my Scorpio dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. New foundational start. Blessed by the heavens. But you only take it. You know, it's your choice to take it with the two of wands here. Seven of pentacles. Someone has been waiting for the opportunity. Wow. To establish something stable with the four of wands. Prince of wands. Someone's rushing in and doing this. There's a this very passionate here. Some passionate nights. Mornings too. Hello. <laughs> 
within the eight of swords someone is still tied to the past the five of swords right and then the seven of cups it's it's a lot of passion here someone wants to offer something stable and solid there's a new foundational start for my scorpios dealing with air signs but there might have been um some devil type energy in the past some third party some addiction some some betrayal so the person that you're trying to start new with or maybe it's you but it looks like it's it's gemini libra aquarius energy air sign energy um their mind just keeps taking them back and it and it causes not only mental confusion but emotional confusion uh scorpio my best advice to you for that is to talk to your air sign really talk really talk this through help them understand that you know where they're coming from mentally or if it's vice versa let the other person know that you need them to talk to you because your mind you're of two minds about you know a new start or creating something foundational all right scorpio's dealing with earth signs scorpio's dealing with earth signs five of cups capricorn virgo taurus someone's grieving the loss of eight of wands back and forth communication can be the arrows of love or this could be communication about the trouble in your relationship prince of cups but you're still offering your cup to the nine of pentacles type person a person that still wants to maintain i'm here in singlehood an element of singlehood uh they may have you in a third party situation um this person might not want to commit if that's what you're looking for the moon and then the king of cups yeah there's a lot of secrets half truth and half truths and lies surrounding this person you're being very intuitive scorpio you're trying to really check in with spirit surrounding an already established relationship either that you're in that you want or the relationship that this other party is in you want truth yeah you're trying to have strength here the other person or the other party could be a queen of wands ten of wands yeah um they could be very feisty very outgoing very charismatic very charming a, a talker a go-getter a business owner entrepreneur but it's just heavy dealing with them you might rush in and tell them that you're done you might try to manifest a second chance or they may try to manifest a second chance with you queen of cups king of wands you both are mirroring each other you both there's love here but there's also indecision outside influence arrogance all right let me get some cards for scorpio additional support cards by way of the butterfly oracle cards by dorian virtue what should scorpio be concerned about concerned with going forward january 22nd until going into february thank you thank you thank you for the messages for scorpio messages for scorpio forgiveness i can see that some of you need to ask for forgiveness or you need to render forgiveness. Don't hold on to it. Changing your mind. Your mind was once made up about a decision that you made. But you might have found clarity, truth uh, in how you feel. And now your mind is changing. Parental care. Some of you need to uh, be more engaged in parental care with your children. Or you need to be uh, concerned with um aging parents and guardians uh, so parental care is definitely highlighted for you changing your mind and forgiveness all right so scorpio those are your messages we'll come back with the messages for sag all right sagittarius